go into the evening. Hello, Leah. Good morning. Luke, either the stadium getting major upgrades. I want to show you this right where we're standing. We can't go beyond this. You see this very distinct line, different grasses here. That's because we're told the team is currently practicing on this field. But given about a year's time outside of the stadium, they're going to have a brand new practice facility that is Shad Khan's vision. It's a place where work and play come together. It's pretty cool to work here. Especially to see everything up close and personal. I haven't really been here that many times. Lakeisha Primo is part of the crew building up the Jaguars next vision. Three practice fields, two outdoors, one indoor. Office space for staff, pro shop and greenery. Before this can come here, the Jaguars needed people like Primo and CJ Everson, workers. It's wonderful, it's wonderful. The hands on, the out in the field work. Nearly every industry is facing a worker shortage. If you need an army, well, build it yourself. So to go from concept of our football team thinking we're going to jump into training and changing people's lives in 20 days, we're doing this in a shorter time than our players go through training camp. Tanisha Tate says the Jags teamed up with Construction Ready to train people in construction. They earn up to eight national certificates and leave with a job offer, some a career. I'll probably be in it for the next eight, eight to ten years. From renderings to reality, yes. It is happening. I don't want to hear this. It actually is happening. Construction is already underway again. July 2023 is a completion date. Then the shipyards project across the street. Construction set to start this year on that project. Live on the field, Leah Shields, First Coast News on your side. Thanks for that, Leah. Look, folks, you're going to be taking a trip down.